Motion Arts. I'm going to give you some quick techniques for the knee. So what you want to do first is obviously warm up your hands. You can do some friction all around the knee. You never want to push directly down on the knee. That's a big no, especially for people that have had surgery. So you want to do some warming up of the knee. You can do some circles with your palms with a thinner part of your hand. Or you can do fingers, you know, like piggyback fingers, you know, small little circles all around the knee. This is also getting close to the knee without um, putting too much pressure. So you can do finger circles all the way around the knee. And then with your palms also. And then cross friction. You can do cross friction right above the patella because you've got your quads tender. Remember your quads tender crosses and it inserts right here on the, on the tibia. So you want to do some cross fiber friction. And then as specifically here on the quads tendon where it inserts right here. Okay. And after you've warmed up the knee a little bit, you can apply some, some oil. And of course you want to do maybe some petrissage. And when you're doing petrissage, you want to make sure and address the pes anserinus or pes anserinus, depending on who is pronouncing it. But right here, you have an insertion on the inner part right below the knee, like right along here, you have three muscle attachments, semitendinosus, the gracilis, and the sartorius. A lot of times this causes knee pain. If the, if the muscles are tight, it'll cause and, you know, some pooling medially. So you want to make sure and address this right here. You want to separate the tibialis anterior. You want to make sure you address it. You can go up the tibialis anterior and I like to do the piggyback fingers also. Piggyback fingers with a thumb in the back for support or f you know with a soft fist. Remember that, it, that you want to make sure and relax the quads, the hamstrings. When people are having pain in their knee, you want to make sure and relax because this is the, the most complex joint in the body is the knee. So you want to make sure and release all the other muscles first. Now, after you've warmed it up and you've done all those techniques, then you want to brace and hold the knee, support the knee, the patella on this side. And again, you want to get real close here all along the patella. And you can also do some, some small circles. This is more specific. You're getting more specific here. You might hear some crepitas, which are little crackling sounds. So I'm moving in like half an inch out. You know, you start really close and then you can start moving out like half an inch at a time. And I can tell she's got something going on right here. So you might want to hang out there for a few seconds. And then you want to do the other side. So you're going to support the, the patella right here and then go to the other side and do the same thing. But these are some really quick techniques for somebody that has knee pain. And you can really help release all the tendon attachments, the quads tendon, the pes anserinus. And you always want to make sure and finish with some relaxing strokes. So that's just a quick little video to show you like how to release and how to relax all the tendons around the knee. The popliteal, remember the popliteus is in the back of the knee, the posterior part. You never want to put pressure there. So you go right below it and just pull up, you know, pulling out the gastrocnemius. This also will release. And the hamstrings. Like all I'm doing is her body weight. I'm letting her leg just 
use that as body weight and just pulling up and you can go all the way up. All right, hope this helps. And until the next time, create a great day. Mm -hmm.